Sun-scorched Mercury has a radius of about 1,516 miles giving it a diameter of 3,032 miles, it is only slightly larger than Earth's moon. It has no natural satellites, or moons of its own. If one could stand on the surface of Mercury when it is at its closest point to the Sun, would appear more than three times as large as it does when viewed from Earth. Mercury is the second densest planet after Earth, with a large metallic core having a radius of 1,100 to 1,200 miles, about 75% of the planet's radius. In 2007, researchers using ground-based radars to study the core found evidence that it is molten liquid. Mercury's outer shell, comparable to Earth's outer shell, called the mantle, is only about 300 to 400 miles thick. It has an egg-shaped orbit that takes it around the Sun every 88 days. This orbit takes the small planet as close as 29 million miles and as far as 43 million miles from the Sun. It speeds around the Sun traveling through space at nearly 31 miles per second, faster than any other planet. The planet is appropriately named for the swiftest of the ancient Roman gods. Mercury, the god of commerce, is the Roman counterpart to the ancient Greek god Hermes, the messenger of the gods. Though it was thought for centuries that the same side of Mercury always faces the Sun, astronomers find in 1965 that the planet spins, completing three rotations about its axis for every two orbits. Because of the spin, one Mercury solar day equals 175.97 Earth days. Like the Moon, Mercury has very little atmosphere to stop impacts. The thin atmosphere, or exosphere, is made up of atoms blasted off the surface by the solar wind and micrometeoroid impacts. Though Mercury's magnetic field has just 1% the strength of Earth's, the field is very active. The solar wind interacts with Mercury's magnetic field, creating intense magnetic tornadoes that funnel the fast, hot, solar wind or plasma down to the surface. When these ions strike the surface, they knock off neutral atoms and send them on a loop high into the sky where other processes may fling them back to the surface or accelerate them away from Mercury. Because of solar radiation pressure, the atoms quickly escape into space and form a tail of neutral particles. Mercury's surface resembles that of Earth's moon, scarred by many impact craters resulting from collisions with meteoroids and comets. Over several billion years, Mercury shrank in radius about 0.6 to 1.2 miles as the planet cooled after its formation. The outer crust contracted and grew strong enough to prevent magma from reaching the surface, ending the period of volcanic activity. Its known geological features other than craters, are areas of smooth terrain, and lobe-shaped scarps or cliffs, some hundreds of miles long and soaring up to a mile high, formed by contraction of the crust. The Calories Basin, one of the largest features on Mercury, is about 960 miles in diameter. It was the result of an asteroid impact on the planet's surface early in the solar system's history. At a diameter of 100 kilometers, the crater Epi is one of the largest craters within the Calories Basin. Mercury's gay side is superheated by the sun, but at night temperatures drop hundreds of degrees below freezing. Temperatures on Mercury's surface can reach 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of Mercury's thin atmosphere and slow skin, the surface cannot retain that heat so nighttime temperatures can drop to negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. In 1991, astronomers on Earth using radar showed that Mercury may have water ice at its north and south poles inside deep craters that are perpetually cold. Looking at the North Pole shows areas of permanent shadow in red and ice that exists in craters in mellow. It is thought that comets or meteorites might have brought ice to these regions of Mercury, or water vapor might have outgassed from the interior and frozen at the poles. Because Mercury is so close to the Sun, it is hard to directly observe from Earth except during twilight. Mercury makes an appearance indirectly, however 13 times each century, Earth observers can watch Mercury pass across the face of the Sun, an event called a transit. The transits fall within several days of May 8 and November 10. The first two transits of Mercury in the 21st century occurred May 7, 2003 and November 8, 2006. The next will occur on May 9, 2016. The first spacecraft to visit Mercury was Mariner 10, launched in November of 1973. It made three flybys, March and September 1974, and March 1975, which imaged about 45% of the surface. NASA's Messenger mission is the first spacecraft to orbit Mercury.
It was launched in August of 2004, performed close flybys of Earth, Venus and Mercury using the planet's gravity to increase speed and conserve fuel. By the second flyby of Mercury, the spacecraft had imaged about 80% of the surface at full resolution and made discoveries about the magnetic field and how Mercury's crust was formed. In 2008 and 2009, the flybys employed Mercury's gravity to help ease the spacecraft into orbit in March 2011. The spacecraft is studying and imaging Mercury from orbit and will map nearly the entire planet in color.